Lombaire, and I'm studying my PhD here at the University of Waikato. Um, I've received the doctoral scholarship from the National Institute of Demographic and Economic Analysis, also known as NIDIA, here at the university. And my studies uh, is in demography, looking at indigenous demography particularly, and looking at how we can build tribal data as a tool of sovereignty for indigenous peoples, both here in New Zealand with the Māori and overseas in the United States with American Indian populations. Studying internationally um, at the University of Waikato has been an amazing opportunity and being able to receive one of the institute scholarships has really been um, an honor, uh, knowing that there are candidates both here in New Zealand as well as internationally that are competing for these scholarships and they are quite competitive. And so for me, it's given me an opportunity to leave my country, which is the United States, come to another country, um, you know, immerse myself in a different culture and amongst such tremendous scholarship um, as well as research um, and studies here at the university. It's what attracted me to the University of Waikato is the strong Māori um, kind of presence here uh, in terms of uh, research and in terms of learning about um, you know how to do um, Kapapa Māori research and other indigenous research from an empowerment perspective. And that's really what made me come here. I'm a member of the Northern Cheyenne Tribe from Montana and I really um, value the tremendous uh, indigenous kind of component of the, of the university. Um, so in terms of my studies here, the scholarship has given me um, money, so it's covered my tuition, it's covered my living expenses, um, and so I actually really don't have to pay a whole lot to, uh, to be a PhD student. And that's really important because it's a, quite a long course of study. Um, you know, I'm an older student in the sense that I've been out of of, of college for well, the university for a fairly long period of time and I had a professional career prior to coming back to school. Um, so having a PhD scholarship um, from NIDIA has truly helped to ease the transition back into university study because um, it is quite a shock going from working full time and having a professional career back into studying full time. Um, in addition to covering costs, you know, it presents itself with a really tremendous opportunity to be around like-minded scholars and researchers and fabulous mentors. Research is only as good as those who you are researching with and that really to me is the attraction of the University of Waikato. Um, the research caliber here is tremendous, it is international. Um, the caliber competes um, internationally with other universities, which is really important when it comes to wanting to um, publish your research and do further studies. Um, so I, want, I would like to encourage um, you know, candidates to apply for the scholarships here because it is a world-class education and you are doing world-class research. Um, as well as you know, the, what's really great about the University of Waikato is it's positioned in Hamilton. And Hamilton, um, it's a growing city. It's a city that is um, very much uh, accessible to everything. So you've got the coasts on either side, um, you've got the mountains, you've got the city of Auckland just up north. So it's a really um, wonderful city to be positioned in and to be living in for a few years um, purely because of what's um, around you. And so you've got mountains, you've got oceans, um, you've got a vibrant indigenous community here, um, and it's just a vibrant international community as well. Um, and so I've really found it to be very accommodating, very hospitable, um, and a place where I feel very lucky to be studying the next three years.